Hello everyone, this is Mumbo. Welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. It is episode 86 and we're currently over here standing on top of the Mumbo Jumbo Biosphere. As you can see, all of the fancy fandangled lights that we've got have all switched on because it is currently dark and it is looking absolutely fantastic. In fact, we should probably remove a lot of the torches that are down at the bottom there because of course they're not necessary anymore particularly. However, in the middle, I suppose it will only light up the outsides. The middle would become just a big mob spawner, so maybe we should stick with those just for a couple seconds. But anyway, in today's episode, I have got a few things that I want to mention right at the beginning here. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit a bit of a milestone on the channel. For those of you who have seen the behind-the-scenes video of the 20 doors in 100 seconds video, you will know that I recently hit 750,000 subscribers. What a bonkers number that is! How insane is that number? Seriously, that is a ridiculous, ridiculous quantity of people. I don't really know what to say about the whole thing. And I mentioned this in the behind the scenes video that I was a little bit gobsmacked. I honestly never expected to get this far on YouTube. I've always tried very hard to create good YouTube videos, put a lot of time and effort into the production value and make sure that my videos are as best as they possibly can be but I never expected to get anywhere on YouTube. So to see the amount of supports for my channel, it makes me feel absolutely fantastic. So as I mentioned in the behind the scenes video, you guys mean the world to me and I really do mean that. So thank you ever so much to everyone that subscribed. Thank you to everyone that has supported my channel because you guys are the best. I have no other words to say other than you guys really are the best, seriously. So ladies and gents, after that slightly emotional start to the Hermitcraft episode, it is now time to crack on with some Minecraft action. And actually, just as I was floating past here, I have noticed that we are accumulating quite a few chests in the minecart area. Of course, we've got this one that was placed by Biffer and Exuma that turns out has got a bunch of my items in it that I should probably take out of there. But also, we have now got this chest here. Now, this is a chest from TFC. It says, down with the T, and by the look of things, it's got anti-tea propaganda in it. It's got premium coffee beans, a coffee mug, and also... Oh! Oh, by the look of things, TFC has founded a, an organization. It's a, it's a rival against tea. So how about we take a look at this book here? And I've just noticed, okay, this is a bit of a warning. If I start messing up my words here, it's because my microphone is right in front of where this book is on my screen, which means that I am now going to have to move my head at a 90 degree angle to read all of this, okay? So prepare yourselves for some interesting sounding words, basically. Here goes. Have you been inspected by the T? Have they found faults with design choices or incomplete projects, deducting mysterious points along the way? Coffee is here to help. Coffee, not to be confused with conspiracy of fishy electric engineers, a subsidiary of Latte, League Against Treacherous Tea Eaters, has been founded to execute covert operations for freeing everyone else. Take a stand against the insidious evil that is the tea. Join coffee today. What helps you wake up and feel ready to face the day? Coffee, the choice of people everywhere who want to sit back and relax after a hard day of mining, crafting, and building. Coffee doesn't judge you. Instead, it tells you, yeah, you deserve a break today. Please accept this handcrafted coffee mug and a sample of the finest premium coffee beans grown and handpicked by Juan Valdez himself. It's time for a coffee break. Brew up a mug, full and relax. Oh, okay, now that I've sorted out my neck problem after holding my head at a funny angle for the past couple minutes, that sounds interesting. That does sound interesting. That's something that we're definitely going to have to look into at some point because, you know what, I wouldn't mind joining an anti-tea organization. Those guys, building redstone in my base, I want rid of them. Now that all those bits and bobs are out of the way, I've done my emotional speech at the start of the episode and also I've read out Tim Full Chef's book. It is now time to crack on with the project that we have planned for today's episode and we're going to be working on this old chestnut the item transportation system that has just become quite large, okay? When I originally came up with this idea in my head, for some reason, I thought that I would be able to do all of this in one episode. I was like, yeah, all we have to do is we'll do the redstone, we'll do the redstone mechanism, and then we'll just link up all the parts of the base. How hard can it be? I mean, really, how hard can that possibly be? Turns out it's actually a little bit more challenging than I first expected, and it just seems to be riddled with problems. We always seem to have item lossage problems and things, so hopefully we don't get any of that today because in this episode, we are going to be linking up that part of the base. Now, when I say that part of the base, obviously you can't see it at the minute, 
but it's the external storage area. My original storage area, I thought we could link up that area there because I spend quite a lot of my time out there. So what I thought we'd do is, of course, we'll do the same thing that we've been doing for all of the other item transportation modules. We'll have an in and an out section, and then the in section will take all of the items from up there over into this storage area here. And the out section, of course, will take the items from this area here, this little chest, up along there and into that storage area. So now it is time to start doing some of the groundwork. Let's begin. So as you can see, we have got all of the blocks in place now. We've got the compressed ice that runs right the way along here. And we've got a nice one wide channel that will be taking all the items from my redstone contraption lever flicky area over to my external storage area. So that is the plan of the minute. That is the progress that we have made. But I just thought I would mention something about that time lapse that you just watched there. As you may have noticed, I used a song that I have never used before in any of my videos. I only came across it the other day. And it is by someone that I actually know, sort of, at least a little bit. Because the artist goes by the name of Ultimate. And they also go by the name of Ultimate Redstone on YouTube. So they are a person in the Redstone community who has now made this just incredible song. I really do think that song is absolutely fantastic. It makes me feel really good. Uh, it's one of those sort of happy songs that just brings your spirits up. And also they've done other songs as well that you might be hearing at some point in future videos because I am so impressed by all of their work. I've only just come across it and I'm just completely blown away. So I'll put a link to that song down in the description as well as a link to their channel as well as a link to their Redstone channel if you want to check out their Redstone videos as well. But I love it. I really do love it. I think it's fantastic. So look forward to more of those sorts of songs in the future. I'm excited for it. Wow, can you hear? I don't know if you can hear what's going on outside. Let me just turn my microphone around. Can you hear that? It is raining really, really hard right now. Like properly, properly hard. It's like a sheet, just a sheet of water coming down. I can see flashes of lightning. I can hear thunder. Pretty bonkers, but I'm going to continue on because I'm nice and warm and snug inside my recording pillow fort that I've set up here. As you can see, we have made a little bit of progress that we have got uh, the slabs and all of the water in place now. So this is like the full item transportation system now. This is where all of the items are going to be running down. And actually, one quick tip that I want to give you guys, okay? This is something that I've learned over many, many years of building water transportation systems. Ever since zombies had the ability to pick up items, it is extremely important that you light up these things. Now, the main reason is, is because a zombie can spawn up on this slab, for example. They can spawn right here. And then they can fall into this water stream. Now, that might not sound like a bad thing. But if an item goes past, the zombie can pick up that item. And then he'll never despawn, okay? That zombie will never despawn. And by the end of this, okay, after, you know, say six months of this thing running, you end up with a lot of zombies. A lot, a lot of zombies. All with items, of course. But that's not the big problem. The big problem is lag. Zombies cause lag because of their pathfinding algorithm. 
and it just makes it makes a bit of a mess of the whole situation and creates quite a bit of lag. That was actually the cause of the lag in the spawn town, the Hermiton, the Hermit Hills area. Um, my sugarcane farm, a zombie spawned in there, or a bunch of zombies spawned in there, and then got stuck in the water streams holding sugarcane. It's just not good. So always, always, always light up these areas here. Place torches on your slabs to make sure that that doesn't happen, because otherwise you can make a mess on a server, and that's not good. Speaking of zombies and holding lots of items, I don't know if you can see this. I'm on my second account right here, just trying to line myself up with where the item elevator is going to be going. There are a ton of zombies down here. And they're all holding items. You got slime. We've got string. More slime, more slime. It looks like we have our own little lag generator over here from mobs dying and these zombies picking up the items. I've never seen anything like this before. How peculiar. I have no idea where this is coming from. I'm going to have to go into this cave and inspect. That's amazing. So I'm just on my way down to the end of the water stream now because of course we've got to build the item elevator right here right now. And here's the deal. We are going to be going straight past all of those zombies, okay? The item elevator is pretty much going to travel up next to them. So I guess I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get militant here. I'm going to have to whip out the diamond sword and start doing some serious damage. And what I'm thinking is, I've spoken to Exuma about this, okay, because, of course, I need a hand. <laughs> There's so many zombies that I'm not very good at killing things, as you guys know. So he told me to poke a hole in the wall and then kill them through that hole because, of course, they'll track their way over to me. They'll try and get me and I'll be able to hit them through that hole in the wall. So that's the plan. We shouldn't have to get our hands too dirty here. So this is where the item elevator is actually going to be going. I needed to go all the way back to get to all of those transparent blocks there so that we can build this. Now what I'm going to do, and I know this sounds like a bit of a backwards, backwards way of doing things, but I'm going to take out all of these blocks, all of them, right the way up to the surface, and then I'm going to replace all of them with cobblestone. So I'm going to get rid of all the blocks, then fill in the entire thing once again. Now the reason that I'm doing that is so that if I'm out mining or doing things out and about, I don't want to mine straight through this without realizing and then end up breaking my item elevator. So I'm going to replace it all with cobblestone so that if I do hit it, if I do mine straight into this thing, I'm going to go, oh, I've hit something important. Best replace those blocks and best fix all of that back up. So that's the plan at the minute and it's going to be a fairly long and boring task. All right, so I can hear quite a lot of zombies right now. I'm assuming I am... I'm in the correct area here. Let's just mine our way across. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. Oh, okay. We've got we've got the first zombie. Yep, this is the right area. Oh, oh, they're flowing in. Oh, no, this isn't good. <laughs> I haven't done this right at all. I haven't done this right at all. Oh, my word. Look how many zombies there are. They're all piling in. This is insane. This is like an XP grinder. Have you got... Oh, God, whenever you think they've stopped coming... There's just more of them. Wow. I'm running low on hunger. Right, rest break. Time out, time out, time out. Let's eat some chicken. Jeez, Luis. This is hilarious. Have I got all of them yet? I can still hear them. Oh, they're still coming in. <laughs> There's so many of them. Surely that's it. Surely, there's a skeleton to throw into the mix. Two skeletons there. That's got to be pretty much all of them. I mean, I knew, I knew there was a lot of zombies. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting quite that many. Oh, that's, that's an enderman. This could be bad. Man, I seem to be just a professional these days. Look how many items there are down there. It's like a little mob spawner that we've got. Take out this guy, I suppose. We've got a few creepers and things, a few spiders, but they're, they're not the problem. Well, I never. I do not believe it. That is absolutely insane. I cannot believe how many zombies there were in that little area there. But anyway, we should actually be on our way down to the bottom here. I think there's only a few blocks left to go. So we should, yep, there we go. We should have finished mining out the item elevator, so bonk. So there is the item elevator all cleared out, and now we have got to fill in this entire area. All of this is now going to be filled in 
with cobblestone. I hope I've lined this up correctly. I think I have. So yes, I'm just going to place cobblestone in like this. And we are going to go right the way up to the surface. This is what is going to be carrying all of the items to the top. This is how it's going to be working. Of course, this is the test to 1E279 elevator that pretty much everyone uses. And it seems to work pretty reliably. So yes, this is what we're going to be doing now. And I will catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, everyone. So all of the cobblestone is in. We have filled in that entire area. That there is our item elevator. So of course, this is where the item module itself is going to be going. I don't actually have any of the items on me right now. I don't actually have anything up here, really. Otherwise, I would have put the chest and the hoppers straight in. But I don't think I've got any hoppers up here. No, it doesn't look like it. And I think I've got I've got a handful of wood. So how about I chuck out some cobblestone and we can start crafting up some chests and items up here. But actually, while we're up here, we might as well pick up the things and basically take them back down to the storage area. Because there really is no point in having any items up here anymore. It just becomes frustrating. That's part of the reason why I'm building this item transportation system here. So that we can just easily transport the items from that area down there. And if we ever need to, from that area up to the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all of these items off in my actual storage area. Then I'm going to come back up to the top. We're going to make the item module and then we should have pretty much, almost anyway, everything done. At least for the sending part, anyway. I told you, I told you I would forever be finding redstone in my base. This is the first one of today's episode, but seems to happen every five seconds. Okay, so the item module is now done. This is what it looks like. It's nothing too dramatic or fancy or anything like that. But it looks okay, actually. You know what? Okay, I sold myself a little bit short just then. I think this looks alright. Now we just have to hook up all the chests and that shouldn't be too difficult. And you know what? I'm actually going to do it on camera. I don't do things on camera particularly often. But I quickly, quickly just want to mention to you guys something that I've been doing recently, okay? Because for those of you who have been watching Hermitcraft for a little while, you will know that I've dabbled in game design. Very, very briefly, okay? But it is something that I'm interested in. Of course, I'm going to Nottingham University to do computer science in 2016. So it's definitely something that I'm interested in. It's something that I want to make a career out of. And yeah, I've recently started up doing more game design. Now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you will have seen some pictures of the things that I've been working on. I've just been doing a few character models and things like that. But once again, I have sort of fallen in love with it again I really have because I went off it for a little while simply because I was struggling quite a lot and YouTube was really full on okay because I was at YouTube I was also doing college work it was all just a bit crazy and I just didn't have enough time to do it but now I have a little bit more time and everything at YouTube's calmed down a little bit I now have a tiny bit more free time I have started work once again on building a few games and I have been absolutely loving it. I love just experimenting, playing around. I honestly don't think I'm ever going to release any of these games that I make, but they're just so much fun to make and create and I just, I love it. I really do. So maybe at some point in the future, you'll see a few games coming out of me at the minute. But for those of you who aren't following me on Twitter, you should follow me there if you do want to see progress from them because I will occasionally tweet out pictures. And it's just been a lot of fun recently. So, yeah, I'm having an absolute blast. But anyway, all of the hoppers are now running into the chest. And that should all be set up. So now we just have to run the hoppers out of this chest here into a dropper system. And then chuck them down to the bottom of the storage area. All of the redstone for the dropper system is now in. And I've got like a guide drop down area. That's where all of the items are going to be falling. But we aren't going to be working on that system in today's episode. Because sadly... I don't actually have enough time, however, what we are going to be doing is, of course, we have got to test the sending system of this area here. So, in theory, all of the items should end up in this chest up at the top. I really do hope that they do, okay? We've been having some problems with these systems not working, and I just hope that this happens first time because, you know, I'm running mega low on time today. I was getting, <laughs> as I just mentioned, I've been loving the game design a little bit too much. I've spent pretty much my entire morning just working on all the artworks for this little game that I'm working on, and that means that I've sort of cut myself a little bit short on the Hermitcraft episode, which I really do apologize for. It's my own fault. I'm the only person to blame for this. It really is my bad. But I think, I still think we've done a decent amount in today's episode. We've got like all the projects that I wanted to get done. So it's all good. It's all good. No problems there. But anyway, flick this lever here. This one is now activated, I believe. The middle one should now be on, which is the one that we are hoping for. So we should begin to see items traveling through there when we chuck them in. Now I am going to do, oh, what could we do? 64 slabs. Okay, so 64 slabs should make their way from this chest 
into that water stream there. And it's already a little bit risky because we've got no blocks around the dropper. Are they coming out? I'm not seeing any items go into this. I'm not seeing any items go into this. Am I just completely missing them? I'm really confused right now. <laughs> What's going on? Did, did the slabs actually go into the correct water stream then? Um, right. Okay, well that could be a potential problem. But anyway, let's head back up to the surface and take a look in the chest and see if they're ever going to make it over there. I have no idea. I really don't. I'm currently not seeing any evidence of them arriving. Um... I don't really know what to say there because I definitely didn't see any of them being sent out by the droppers. So I'm hoping that this is just a redstone problem. Let's go and take a look. The strange bud problem has struck again. So I've replaced the iron block there with a stone slab. The same thing happened with this thing. I've never seen that before. Never ever seen that before. So I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, yeah, we look like we have now fixed it because all of the slabs ended up in this chest up at the back here. So I wasn't going crazy. There weren't actually any items going through into that system there. But anyway... Here goes, the moment of truth, number two, we have got 64 stone slabs, and this time, let's take a look. Yes, items, 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 they are all flowing through into the water stream, so let's race over to where our chest is, and see if they are going to come into that chest. If not, I'm going to be stressed out. Here goes, fingers crossed. Nothing. There's <laughs> still nothing. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? There's no items in the chests. Oh, this is a problem that I'm going to have to solve in the next episode of Hermitcraft. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. Why? Why are no items ending up in this chest here? Find out in the next episode of Hermitcraft. Seems like some kind of dramatic TV series or something like that. But anyway, yes, as I just mentioned, I am all out of time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.